so we are we are going to do our new lesson a uh, measurement so has we i have explained you measurement is all about when we are comparing two object some are having less some are having more where we use this word light heavier long short thin fat okay these are the words we use for the measurement now in this lesson we are going to see the measurement of non standard unit non standard means what jahan pe hum koi tolne ka saman nahi le rahe only by using our body organs we can measure the things now in olden days what were happening there was no any specific uh, unit ya koi aisa वो नहीं था डिवाइस नहीं था टू मेजर द थिंग्स डिवाइस मीन्स वॉट क्या कोई मशीन टू मेजर द थिंग्स किसी भी चीज को मेजर करने के लिए देर वेर नो मशीन सो इन दैट टाइम इन ओल्डन डेज पीपल यूज टू मेजर विद हैंड स्पैन क्यूबिट फुट एंड पेस सो ना वॉट इज हैंड स्पैन क्यूबिट फुट एंड पेस to measure the length we use one of this method. Whenever we use this thing, we use the measure the one of the object using hand span qubit now before starting in detail let us see one video okay so here we are going to share the video with you you all love video yes Two teachers, eight different. But I may do good. Banne ka best solution. Buy juice glasses. The future. डाउटनेट पर सॉल्व कीजिए अपना कोई भी पढ़ाई से संबंधित डाउट बस जिस भी सवाल पर फंसे हो उसकी एक फोटो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एम मेरी नीड टू स्टैंड फॉर द बीम बैग टॉस I don't have a ruler or tape measure, so I'm measuring in a different way. How can you measure without a ruler? You can use objects around you to measure things. Yep, you can use crayons to measure. Line up crayons along the object you want to measure. Make sure the crayons are straight and the same size. There shouldn't be gaps between them. And they shouldn't overlap. The end of the crayon should line up with the end of the object. This book is four crayons long. If you don't line up the crayons correctly, your measurement won't be accurate or correct. It's important to use the same object when you measure. If you use different objects, you won't get an accurate measurement. Cool robots, Moby. How tall are they? We can use blocks to measure their height. The green robot is four blocks tall. How tall is the red robot? Let's see. It's ten blocks tall. You're right, Moby. It seems like the red robot is taller because the number is bigger. But I know the green robot is taller. Since the blocks we use to measure are different sizes, it's hard to compare the measurements. When you compare measurements, always use the same object to measure. The green robot is four blocks tall, and the red robot is three blocks tall. How does using smaller or larger objects change your measurement? When you measure using objects, think about the size of the object you want to use. Let's measure this pink kit using paper clips. 
Let's see. It's six paper clips long. Now let's try measuring with something bigger, like erasers. The paint kit is three erasers long. I'll use more paper clips than erasers to measure the paint kit. When you measure using smaller objects, you use more of them. When you measure with larger objects, you use fewer. What should we use to measure this bookshelf? Pencil sharpeners are pretty small. It'd take a long time to measure this bookshelf. You want to use an electric guitar? <laughs> the guitar is longer than the bookshelf. It's easier to use something smaller than the object you're measuring. That's better, Moby. The bookshelf is four pencils wide. A unit is what you use to measure. So the unit we're using to measure is pencils. What are some examples of units? We measure length in units like centimeters or meters. We also measure in units like inches non-standard units to measure the length of different objects. These units can be non-uniform or uniform. Let us understand it in a better way by looking at a few examples. Lisa is measuring her maths textbook with the help of hand span. Let's measure one Two. So, the length of her maths textbook is two hand spans. Look, Lisa is measuring the length of the classroom with her foot. Let's measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So, the length of the classroom is 20 feet. But if I measure... I will get a different number as my feet and hands are bigger than Lisa's. Hence, foot and hand span are non-standard, non-uniform units of measurement. Kids, now let us use paper clips and straws to measure a few objects. The length of this book is 15 paper clips. And the breadth of the blackboard is four straws. Anyone measuring these objects with the same paper clip and same straw will get the same answer. Hence, paper clip and straw are examples of non standard uniform units of measurement. Okay, now watching this video, what do you understand? Now, when we measure using paper clips, straw, okay, so the measure will come accurate, but all the straw and the paper clip should be of same size. So, we are not getting the proper measurement, it should be in a 
all the clips and straw should be in a proper height and straight okay we cannot use some smaller or bigger and it should be placed properly straight line now i am going to share my pdf with you Now, what we can see over here, there are two objects. One is the feather and other one is the stones. Now, what it is saying, stones are heavier than feather. Yes, in this stone is heavy and where the feather of bird is light. Yes, so this is also a measurement. I want you all to take out your Max notebook and also you need to write it. So, I'm going to unmute Arya from first A. Rule number two. Yes, teacher. What is the spelling of heavy? You can see on the mobile. I've shared the screen. Yes. Read it. Heavy and light. What is the spelling of heavy? Others can write in your notebook. H E V. H E A V Y, heavy. Very good. H E A V Y. What is this object? You can tell me. These are stones. These are stones. Abhi stone heavy hai. Stone se heavy or kya hoga? Can you tell me? Imagine something more heavier than stone. Ye jo stone hai, usse heavy kya hai? कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट का नाम ले सकते हो आप थिंक स्टोन से टेबल ओके कंपेरिव टू दिस स्टोन द टेबल विल बी हैवियर वेरी गुड नो यू कैन म्यूट योर सेल्फ थैंक यू टीचर Now, next, Devshri, I have unmuted you. What is the yes. spelling of light? Light. L. I. D. H. T. Now, this feather is lighter. Okay, ye halka hai. Can you tell me any animal, bird, flower, leaves, or anything, any object? Lighter than this feather. Isse bhi halka kuch hai? Yes. Tell what it is. Any lighter object? Any guess na kitni sari cheeze hain? Pencil. No, I think ant. Chitti dekha hai apne? Yes. Does ant have any weight? Choti wali jo chitti hoti hai. She is lighter na? Feather se bhi halki hogi wo. Yes? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Hmm. So you can imagine. Imagine your thoughts. Okay, now you can mute yourself. I hope you all have written. So this can be your opposite also. Heavy ka opposite kya hai? Light. And this is the measurement lesson. So we are measuring two objects, stone and feather. Where we can see stone is heavier than feather. So heavy and light. Now next, thick, thin. What is the spelling of thick? T H I. C K, thick. What is the spelling of thin? P H I N, thin. Now, thick means what? थोड़ा सा मोटा, ज़्यादा सा. Now, when you go outside, 
you can see the trees various kind of trees are there yes now if you see the banyan tree okay it is so thick na where you see which tree banana tree it is so thin yes banana ka ped dekha hai aapne it is thicker than banyan tree so i am going to unmute again देवश्री मैं आपसे बात कर चुकी हूं ना देवश्री दीक्षा आई हैव अनम्यूटेड यू यस दीक्षा नाउ दीक्षा व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ थिक पी एच आर सी के थिन थिक व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ थिन P H I N T. Very good. Now, can you tell me, thick से ये जो thick tree है, उससे भी ज़्यादा कुछ thick है क्या? Any other object? Can you imagine? हाँ? Mango tree. Mango tree. Very good. Mango tree भी है. और curtains का अगर बहुत बड़ा वो जो होता है bundle. ओके okay? बड़े बड़े रोल्स होते हैं ना क्लोथ के दैट कैन बी ओके नाउ यू कैन म्यूट योर सेल्फ हैव यू रिटर्न इन योर नोटबुक ओके आई एम गोइंग टू सी लेटर प्रणीता आई हैव अनम्यूटेड यू व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ थिन टीचर व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ थिन E H I N. Okay. Can you give any example more thinner than this? आपके हाथ में भी है वो. Imagine करो. Pencil. Very very good. Good guess. So pencil is also very thin with this. If we imagine compare with this tree pencil we are using, it is more thinner. वो और ज़्यादा पतली. Thin यानी क्या होता है? पतला होना. Thick यानी थोड़ा मोटा होना. ओके चौड़ा होना म्यूट योर सेल्फ वेरी गुड आंसर नाउ अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू आस सनीजा आई हैव अनम्यूटेड यू गुड मॉर्निंग टीचर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप यू ऑल आर राइटिंग कैन यू सी व्हाट आई हैव हियर आर टू हाउस नियर एंड फार व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ नियर N E A R near. Near, near means pass me. Okay. अभी आपके पास में क्या है Can you tell me? Book. And pencil. Pencils and your mobile also. You are taking online lecture, so it is near near to you. Yes. Now, what is the spelling of far? F A R far. Far, यानी yeah. दूर होना कोई भी चीज जब दूर होती है नाउ व्हाट इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू योर स्कूल इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू यस यस नाउ गिव मी वन मोर एग्जांपल द थिंग दैट इज फार अवे फ्रॉम यू स्कूल एंड गार्डन गार्डन आल्सो इज फार अवे वेरी गुड नाउ यू कैन म्यूट योर Thank you, Rita. Now, Somaya, I have unmuted you. Somaya, please. Can you give me one example? Things near to you. What, ma'am? Your voice not. Ma'am, I'm not audible clearly. No, ma'am. अच्छा कोई ऐसी चीज का नाम बताओ जो आपके पास में है नियर टू यू हेलो हेलो मेगा टीचर आई एम ऑडिबल क्लियरली ओके आई विल आस समन एल्स आई एम ऑडिबल ना क्लियरली Yes. 
Sumaya, please unmute yourself again. Yes, ma'am. What did I ask you? Tell me the objects name which are near to you. Phone. And? Bed. Okay. And things that are far away from Bathroom. you? Garden. Or garden ho chuka hai. Or kaun sa cheez aap se dur hai? Station. Station. Airport. Yes. Market. Market. Hmm. So you can use these words, these ob uh, name to see, tell the object or things they are far away from you. Okay. 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 Now you can mute yourself. Thank you, ma'am. Now I am going to unmute Shubha uh, Shubhang Mishra. Your roll number is 49, but still I am calling you. Good morning, teacher. Very good morning. Now, what it is written? Read. H-I-G-H. -H. Hi. Hi. L-O-W. Low. Now, now, where does the bird fly? Bird fly? High in the Hi. sky? Yes. So, or aeroplane be? Kaha pe? Urta hai in the sky high. Hi. Yes, very good. What is low? Low means bohot niche. Yes, you can see music low long uh, low sound music hota hai. Jo flute hota music. hai. Low. Sound low hota hai. Low. Hmm. Okay. Now you go to garden. Yes. Usme aap usme baithte ho swing mein, jhula mein baithte ho. Yes. Okay. When it go to the upwards, so you go high. High. Yes. And when you come, high. push karta hai koi aapko, to aap niche ki taraf aate ho, low ki taraf. Do low. you enjoy your swing? Yes. High and low. What it is? H I G H. High. L O W. L O W. Low. Okay. Very good. Have you written in your notebook? Yes. Very good. Thank you, teacher. With yourself, I'm going to ask next child. Veer Savant, I have unmuted you. Yes, teacher. Come on, tell me what it is written. What is the spelling? Read it. T A L S. Tall. Tall. And what is the next? S H O R T. Short. 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 Outing. Short. Tall. Short. And short. Tall. Ha. Tall. And short. Which is the tallest animal? What is an uh, year? Which is the animal given over here? Garpe animal bozona. घर को नहीं ये एनिमल कौन सा है टॉलर एनिमल व्हिच एनिमल जिराफ जिराफ एंड नेक्स्ट शॉर्ट एनिमल व्हिच एनिमल इट इज अ वो क्या है मुझे पता नहीं वो जो दिख रहा है शेप शेप इतना छोटा हां बड़ा था वो यहाँ पे इमेज में छोटा है पर आपको बड़ा दिखता है वो ओके अभी कार्टून्स कैरेक्टर होते हैं कि नहीं छोटे बड़े हाँ ओके सो टॉल इज टॉलेस्ट है ना नो इफ यू सी एट योर होम नो सम प्लांट्स आर देयर दे आर वेरी शॉर्ट वो कितने छोटे छोटे हैं शॉर्ट हैं हाँ ना तो ये तुम बाहर अगर द so, baki jo trees hai kitni tall hai yes they are taller yes yes na okay so t a w -L, l tall s h o r t short now you can mute yourself yes teacher thank you teacher okay now bhavyansh i have unmuted you 
Yes, teacher. Now you can see again we came to the which screen? Tall, short. Now which animal is shorter than giraffe over here? Giraffe. Giraffe is the tallest. But uske comparatively jo dusra animal ka image hai, which animal it is? Cat. Cat. Cat hai? Or tiger? Tiger. Yes. What is the spelling of short? S H O R T. Short. Very good. Okay, very good, beta. Now I'm going to unmute another child. Nakshatra, I've unmuted you. Now, can you see what it is? Come on, tell. Nakshatra, आपको मैंने अभी unmute किया. Unmute हो गए वापस. अनम्यूट किया है अगेन नक्षत्रा हेलो टीचर गुड मॉर्निंग टीचर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग क्या है यहाँ पे स्क्रीन पे दो बताओ क्या है वो एक कोकोनट है हम्म और दूसरा हेवी और लाइट लाइट यस तो वो लाइट ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है ऑरेंज सो कोकोनट इज हैवियर यस हैवी होता है वजनी होता है कंपेरेटिवली ऑरेंज इज लाइटर यू कैन होल्ड द ऑरेंज विथ योर वन हैंड बट यू के नॉट होल्ड दैट कोकोनट विथ योर वन हैंड यू नीड टू होल्ड विथ योर टूगेदर हैंड यस ओके वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ हैवी वेरी गुड वॉट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ लाइट लाइट वेरी गुड नाउ यू कैन मीट ए सेल्फ थैंक यू टीचर नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इच्छा आई वन म्यूटेड यू Now tell me, Icha, which is heavier, watermelon or balloon? Speak up fast, Icha. You people are not unmuting yourself. Again, I have unmuted. Good morning, teacher. Yes, very good morning. Tell me, which one is heavier? कौन सा वजनी है ज्यादा विच इज हैवियर स्पीक अ फास्ट वॉटरमेलन वॉटरमेलन वेरी गुड वॉटरमेलन इज मोर हैवियर देन द बलून वेरी गुड गुड आंसर म्यूट योर सेल्फ नाउ we can see what is this this is our standard measurement it means you can see over here this is a hand where we can measure using hand abhi mera hath aur aap bachchon ka hath aapki mummy papa ka hath comparatively agar dekha jaye to aapka hath bahut chhota hoga aur mera hath ya aapki mummy ka hath bahut bada hoga yes if we are measuring to dono ka jo measuring ka unit aayega jo number aayega wo different aayega kyun aayega different बिकॉज ऑफ द हैंड बिग एंड स्मॉल मेरा हाथ बिगर है और आपका हाथ थोड़ा छोटा है अगर हम सेम मेजर कोई ऑब्जेक्ट करते हैं जैसे आपकी टेक्स्ट बुक है अभी आप मेजर कीजिए मैं भी वही टेक्स्ट बुक लेके बैठी हूँ मैक्स का अगर मैं मेजर करती हूँ तो मेरा वन एंड द हाफ हैंड स्पेन आता है ओके एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू मेजर तो आपका टू टू थ्री हैंड स्पेन आएगा ओके सो दिस इज द That's why they are called non-standard unit measurement. Okay, इनका कुछ perfect measurement नहीं होता है. Now, if you are using with this, this is called a cubit. 
this is the arm span space when we are uh, counting the floor classroom carpet okay so we use our space we use our foot span to measure the things in a detail we are going to see in our next lecture okay i hope you understand this